हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन कंटिन्यूएशन विथ आर न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑफ न्यूटन्स लॉज ऑफ मोशन नाउ वी हैव दिस क्वेश्चन इन विच विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ डू वी हैंडल द एंगल्स सो लेट अस रीड द क्वेश्चन अ मास ऑफ सिक्स के जी इज कनेक्टेड बाय अ रोप ऑफ टू मीटर लेंथ फ्रॉम अ सीलिंग सो सपोज दिस इज अ सपोर्ट और सीलिंग शोन वन रोप इज शोन दिस इज ऑफ टू मीटर ओके एंड वन मास इज ऑफ सिक्स के जी हैंगिंग नाउ वॉट इज हैपनिंग लेट इज ड्रॉ इट इन द सेम डायग्राम सो नेक्स्ट लाइन इज इफ अ हॉरिजोंटल फोर्स ऑफ फिफ्टी न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड एट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द रोप सो इफ दिस रोप इज ऑफ टू मीटर लेंथ एट द मिड पॉइंट दैट मीन्स एट वन मीटर डिस्टेंस वी हैव टू अप्लाई अ फोर्स ऑफ फिफ्टी न्यूटन horizontal force you can see it is horizontal force so here we have to apply the 50 newton force so what will be happening let us draw the diagram so you can see the picture will be like this now at this point means midpoint we have applied a force of 50 newton force of 50 newton we have applied and now you can see that the rope position will be little tilted this 6 kg will remain vertical because under the gravity it will remain straight vertical now what is the question calculate the angle which the rope makes with vertical in equilibrium so we are given the condition of equilibrium and what we have to find out we have to find out what angle the rope makes with vertical so now if we draw this line as vertical now this is the rope so how much angle this rope will make with the vertical suppose we call it theta so our target is now that we have to find this theta so let us first show all that forces which can be present in this diagram first of all let us focus on this 6 kg our first mass is this 6 kg now as you already know on this 6 kg one will be its weight mg mg means 6g vertically downwards second force can be what you know that second force can be tension because in this diagram the rope is present so tension is towards the fixed support so suppose i call this tension t1 okay so on this 6 kg there are two forces which are t1 and 6 g forces okay t1 and 6 g and what about the net force is this 6 kg moving no it is written in the question that equilibrium system is in equilibrium equilibrium is net force on net force is zero so i will write here that net force is zero if the body is moving then we will write here f equal to ma but the body is not moving just now we need to write it f equal to zero it is written in the question equilibrium okay so we have completed all the forces of the 6 kg mass now let us focus on this point where the force is applied so since here the force is applied so we need to consider this point also so let us this name this point as point p this point okay now let us show all the forces which can be present on this point p okay first force you already know that 50 newton force is applied in the horizontal direction okay what other forces can be there since it is a point so it has no weight so there is no weight of this point what other forces can be there since this point is connected here also with the rope and here also with the rope so that means there are two tensions so point p which is connected here by 6g it will be showing here tension t1 since it is the common string here so tension t1 will be shown and at this side also point p is connected with this support tension is towards the support so here one tension t2 will be there okay t2 that means now we have taken all the forces which can be present in this diagram now we will separately solve 6g equation i mean sorry 6 kg equation and we will solve separately this points forces equation let us start now okay first of all for this 6 kg 
let us draw the free body diagram for this 6 kg body you can see t1 is upward 6 g is downward t1 is tension 6 g is the mg weight and net force is 0 so what should be the equation connecting all the three things so first of all you have to hide this net force and take only t1 and 6 g since t1 and 6 g are opposite so if we want the resultant of them so it will be subtraction so we will first write this equation t1 minus 6 g equal to net force now what is net force on this body that is 0 so here we have to write 0 ok so t1 and 6 g are opposite that's why we have subtracted and we have equated it to 0 because it is given in the equilibrium ok ok let us solve t1 from here t1 equal to 6 g g is 10 so finally t1 will become 60 newton first part is done that means we have solved t1 ok let us now focus to the second free body diagram ok second free body diagram means which is the next point where the force was applied so point p we have to take now i am drawing here point p's free body diagram point p you can see now i need space i am writing it here here 15 newton force is applied you can see in the diagram on point p here it is t1 downward this is downward force and then one t2 is present in this direction t2 okay now uh, at what angle T2 is? For that I will just connect it with this vertical. This angle is theta. Okay. You know that this is T2. This with vertical line. This, this angle is theta. So let us, let us bring it at point P. Point P per angle bana lete. How we will make it? We will extend this line. So this angle will also come theta. Because these are alternate angles. So, theta is here. So, theta will be here also. Okay. Now, we have to forget about this part. Okay. Now, we have shown all the forces which are present at point P. Now, you can notice that 15 Newton is in the horizontal direction. T1 is in the vertical direction. But T2 force is in between horizontal and vertical. So, whenever some force is in in between direction or in a plane then we can take the help of resolution technique resolution means we will divide this vector into two parts so what we have to do if this t2 is here pointing so we will make its first component here and first component along this line okay this is given already by the vectors so with whichever side theta is formed that is cos component so this component is T2 cos theta. Kya kar rahe hum? T2 ko resolve kar rahe hai. T2 beach mein hai. Iska ek part ye banega, ek part ye banega. T2 jiske saath theta angle banata hai, wo hota hai cos component. So T2 cos theta ye hua, aur ye hua T2 sin theta. That means what we have done here. Jo T2 beach mein tha, the force which was in between x and y direction usko humne break karke do parts mein distribute kar diya split kar diya so jaise hi humne isko split kar diya ab hum isko bhul jayenge we don't have to consider now t2 we don't have to take t2 now anymore because already it has been divided into two parts okay now forget about this t2 hide this t2 now you can see that there are four forces one two three four forces are there and this point P is also in equilibrium. Now equilibrium means it is not moving. This point P is not moving anywhere. In this diagram, point P is in the steady state. Okay, equilibrium. So equilibrium means now net force is here also zero. Net force is here also zero. Vertical and horizontal direction. That means T2 cos theta is cancelling T1. And 50 is cancelling T2 sin theta. Means they are equal. 
So let us write these equations now. T2 sin theta is 50. T2 sin theta is equal to 50. Here also one force is there. Here also one force is there. We can also write it this way. That T2 sin theta and 50 are opposite. So they are subtracted. Opposite vectors are subtracted. And because they are in equilibrium. So they are equal to 0. Okay. So you can convert it in equal format now. Right. So if any point is in equilibrium. That means these side forces and this side forces are equal. So T2 sin theta equal to 50. But horizontal case taken. Now take vertical case. T2 cos theta is equal to T1. Okay. Upward T2 cos theta, downward T1 is there. Now, what we have to solve? Our target is that we have to solve this angle. Calculate the angle which the rope makes with vertical. So this theta. The rope makes with vertical theta angle. So our target is to solve this theta. So let us now consider these two equations. How we will solve these equations? Whenever in two equations sin theta and cos theta is appearing and if we have to get angle theta. So we will be dividing that two equations. Okay, always. So let us divide these two equations. T2 cancelled. Sin theta upon cos theta is 10 theta. Here 50 upon T1. Do we know T1? Yes. T1 we have already solved 60. So finally the answer is coming 5 by 6. So this way theta is 10 inverse 5 by 6. Okay. So this way we have solved the angle. Clear? Now in the same question just make a technique. Force was 50 Newton. Mass was 6. That means its weight is 60. That's why the answer came 50 by 60, 5 by 6. Suppose if the horizontal force is 3, 30. Suppose if the horizontal force is 30 and here the mass is 5 kg, that means weight is 50. Then the angle will become 10 inverse 3 by 5. So this value, these two values 5 and 6 are appearing from these datas. 5 kaha se aya? 50 se? 50 kya tha? Force. So, here will force be always. And 6 kahan se aya? 6 hai mass. Okay. So, this is the general formula of this type of question. Theta, whenever we have to solve, it will become 10 inverse F by mg. I am writing it again. It will be visible. 10 inverse F by mg. Okay, here is the force and below is mg. Inko divide it, theta will come. Okay, but for the descriptive questions, you have to solve it with steps. All that steps are shown in front of you. Okay, so what we did, I will just explain it. 6 kg, 2 forces, show 2 forces, equate them, get T1. Then at this point P, show all forces, 50 was given in the question. T1 and T2 are tensions because two ropes are there. Two parts of the ropes are there. Then resolve this T2 which is just in between. So T2 cos theta, T2 sin theta. Then cut this T2. This is no more required. Then this and this equate. This and this equate. And make the equation. Okay. So these type of questions which we have practiced. That you have to keep on revising with different set of values. Okay.